Hey guys, this is a response video for a quest for help with the dynamic nav mesh with modifiers only, and specifically how to get it to work on doors that open and close. So we can see on this side it's updating the nav mesh, and on that side it's not. So let's go ahead and see how to do this. Okay, and so let's start by going to Project Settings, and we'll search for Runtime. And let's go ahead and put it in Dynamic Nav Mesh with Modifiers Only. And then let's go ahead and close the Project Settings. Now back in our Content Browser, let's start with this door right here, the one that we know doesn't work, and let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. So the first thing we'll look at is that when we pull in the Nav Modifier in the tooltip under Mobility, we can see that this is a non-scene component, and that means that it doesn't have a real-world location. It really just relies on the outer footprint of the entire object. It also means that we can't attach it directly to the door itself, which is the only part that moves. So how we would normally deal with this is we would create a separate blueprint for the door and then call it in as a child on another blueprint. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would do that. Okay, and here on our child blueprint, we have just the door by itself, and we attached a nav modifier to it. Now remember, the nav modifier is not attached directly to the door. It's attached to the outer footprint of the entire object. But in this case, the entire object consists of only the door. So now we can call this in as a child actor on this parent blueprint. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Okay, and here on our parent blueprint, to add a child actor, we would just go add component and search for child, and it would be this one right here, child actor. I already have mine set up. You would also just come over here and select the child actor class. I just named mine door. So you would compile and save this, and then let's go and see if that fixed it. Okay, and when we hop back into the game, we can see that it's still not working. Now we've done everything that we can with the nav modifier, so we're going to need to take a look at something else. So let's go ahead and go back to the blueprint for the child actor real quick. Okay, and back here on the blueprint for the door, you're probably using a function similar to this. It's a very common way to open and close a door. And to see why it's not working for the nav modifier, let's pull this rotation node out and we'll expand it. And we're going to look at this option right here called sweep. Now what a sweep is, is as the object moves, it's going to collide with things and it's going to report that back. So for the nav modifier, it needs to report back that it's colliding with the nav mesh. But there's a problem here, if we look at the tooltip, it says that it's not currently supported for rotation. So the issue we're running into is since the nav modifier is not a scene component, it doesn't have its own location or rotation values. It relies exclusively off of the static mesh reporting to it. But there's a disconnect here because it can't complete that report. So the nav modifier just will never work. So we need to create something similar to a nav modifier. So for that, let's go to another blueprint and we'll see how to do it. Now, just real quick before we move on, we can actually see an example of the nav modifier working with rotation if we add a rotating movement component. And that's again because this is another non-scene component. So it's a way to bypass the restrictions on the previous rotation node that we saw. But the problem with this is that if we go back to the game, we can see that this rotator is constant and it never stops. So this might work well for revolving doors or other objects like fans, but it's not going to work well for a door that opens and closes. So let's move on to that other solution. Okay, and the quickest and easiest solution to this problem is to just simply attach a collision box to the static mesh. Now, since this is a scene component, you can attach it directly to the door without having to use a child actor, and it also has its own location and rotation values which it can use to ignore the failed sweep that we saw earlier, and it will just use its own personal values to update the nav mesh. Now to get it to act like a nav modifier volume, all you have to do is come down here to navigation and click the box for dynamic obstacle and choose an area class. Now I'll just leave it on area class null, but you could choose from any of the area classes or create your own custom ones. If you need help doing that, I'll leave a link to a video in the description below. But for now, let's go ahead and check out if this works. 
Okay, and we can see that it's working just fine now, and that's because we're using a box collision to mimic what a nav modifier would do. Now, just real quick before we end, we want to go back to the blueprint and just check on two things. And back here on the blueprint, just a quick reminder from the original video, you want to select your static mesh and come over here and search for nav and make sure that you clicked or you unchecked can ever affect navigation. And that's because you don't want it to compete with the nav modifier or in this case the collision box when it comes to updating the nav mesh. And also, let's go ahead and select the collision box and we'll search for a collision. And just remember that when you're using a nav modifier, it only collides with the nav mesh. But in this situation where you have to use a collision box, it's going to collide with everything. So you might want to choose a different preset or do a custom one so that it only collides with the things that you need it to. And also a quick note, I double checked that this solution works for the current version of Unreal 5.3.2 as well. Okay, I hope that helped. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video.